Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. Well, not a reading today as obviously I'm making a rare appearance. What I did want to do is um, share um, a recent experience with you. Um, I watch uh, lots of other channels, as you know, um, and a particular favourite of mine is um, a, a channel belonging to my friend Patrick Gat Garrett. It's called Ask Patrick. Um, so you can go on there and um, ask questions. Patrick used to use a pendulum and now he just uh, has such a strong connection. Uh, he doesn't use the pendulum. So you just ask him, he tunes in and gives you um, an answer. Uh, you can ask source frequency, you can ask uh, earth frequency, sun, moon, any of the planets. You can ask um, a loved one, um, a pet. Um, I have asked three questions over two shows. Um, I've asked, asked about uh, repeating numbers. I have asked about our orbs, our little visitors that we uh, have on the channel when I'm doing the uh, daily reads and, and private readings also. Um, and I also asked um, about a dog that was in my life once, uh, my beautiful Tulsa. Um, she's been deceased now, uh, all, it's got to be around 24 years. Um, but probably about, oh, it must be about 15 years ago, um, I was standing in the kitchen making an evening cup of tea. Um, I had my uh, dressing gown on, or um, some of you ladies call it a house coat. And I felt this sensation behind me, you know, that when the hairs on the back of your neck go up and uh, all static, uh, but it was all positive, positive energy. It wasn't negative. I, don't, I do know the difference. Um, and then I felt this tug on the bottom of my gown that made me turn and look down and I even said, is that you Tulsa? So I thought that was a nice question to ask Patrick and I think you will enjoy the answer. So my friends, I'm going to go all techie on you. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen. Which is that one. And I'm going to say, oh, before I do, the other voice that you'll hear um, is um, my friend Caroline. Uh, she asks the questions for Patrick. So, um, and because she um, does that, way, then you get more questions in. Otherwise, Patrick's kind of sitting reading questions and then answering. So, between the two of them, they're formulating um, uh, a, a wonderful experience. Okay. Take it away, Patrick. Then we have Kindred Spirit Tarot. A question for source frequency. Could you explain to us the meaning of triplet number we all see at all the time? What should we understand from those messages included 111, 222, 333, etc.? And also 911. Please and thank you. When you notice numbers occurring on a regular basis, this is to prompt you to psychically make a connection with source. It is like an anchor point, it keeps you on your course, it makes you think. Also, they do have the ability to activate certain abilities within you. Some people use the word gifts. They are not gifts, they are abilities. They are natural to you, but not all are activated. Next question is from Kindred Spirit Tarot. Root, hello, Root. <laughs> A question for Earth Frequency. Who are the orbs around me when I do my readings? These are some of your spirit guides. They are there to prompt your words and ensure that you are giving an accurate message to those 
for whom you are working. You have a genuine natural gift. You exercise it wisely. Trust in yourself. There is much for you to do. Keep up the good work. Finish. Then, 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 we have Kindred Spirit Tarot. For a question for source frequency. Uh, uh, okay, it's about a dog. So, do we ask source or do we ask the dog? Is the dog alive or is the dog deceased? I don't know. Just read the question, Caroline, word for word. Word for word. Can you ask my dog, Tulsa, was it she who tugged my dressing gown that time in the kitchen? Of course it was. Who do you think it was? I am always around you. As our other previous pets, we love you. We would never leave you. Finish. Wow. <clears throat> I really thought that you would enjoy that experience, my friends, and uh, it didn't stop there. So, this was my beautiful Tulsa. She's absolutely gorgeous. And this photograph I took out after the show. And I sat talking to it, telling her how much I loved her, kissing my photograph. And all over the weekend, unbeknownst to me, until an email dropped in my inbox from Patrick, um, Tulsa had been bothering him all weekend, apparently. Um, and he sent me a, an email that said, um, she won't leave me alone until I've told you that she loves you very, very much. And so I received that love. <laughs> oh, wow, what an absolutely fabulous experience. And I thought I would share that with you because I thought some of you would really enjoy that also. Um, and if any of you are thinking of um, asking Patrick a, a question, um, there is a protocol, there is a way of um, putting your questions forward um, and he does show you that on his channel so if you uh, find that um, short little video on how to put your questions forward um, and then go for it, um, you never know what you get back. Um, and as for the orbs, well, wow, we knew that they were spirit guides, didn't we? And uh, that's been wonderfully confirmed. I'm so intrigued about the much more for me to do. But whatever it is, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me, my friends. And uh, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>